Hello everyone and welcome to Coding with BNE. This is actually the very first episode of Coding with BNE and I am really, really excited to get started with this new series. So I'm B. And I'm E. Yes, and we are going to lead you through uh, a coding adventure. And we're going to start by um, uh, installing and learning to code in a program, or in our program rather, sorry, a programming language called Python. Um, and I want to talk for just a moment before we get started about what actually a programming language is. Uh, so E, what is a programming language? Something that you give commands to the computer, computer so uh, that, that it understands it. That's actually pretty much correct. <laughs> um, I like to think of it as just a list of instructions. Uh, so when I was growing up, I always wanted to learn a computer programming language, and everybody around me told me that programming languages were hard. They were really, really hard, and the implication for me was that they were much too hard for me to ever be able to learn. Um, so a few years ago, I just took it upon myself. I just got bored one day and thought I'd start learning a programming language. And so since then, I have been self-teaching myself for a few years. I still consider myself a novice programmer. Um, however, I've got a pretty good grasp on the basics and some of the intermediate and advanced concepts. And uh, not long ago, I started teaching E how to do some coding as well, and she's actually taken to it pretty well. So we thought that we would start this series um, in case we could find anybody else who wanted to start learning a programming language. Um, and so we're going to kind of just take you through the basics, and as we get a little bit deeper into it, I'm going to be teaching E alongside all of you who are following along how to use the Python programming language. Uh, and there are a few different reasons that I like to start with Python. Um, I've dabbled in a few different programming languages. Python is the one that I've gotten the best at. And Python, in my experience, um, in my opinion, is one of the easiest programming languages to learn in the beginning. And it was originally uh, created as a programming language that was specifically made to be very easy to learn. Uh, and there are lots of, uh, lots of functions that it has, uh, lots of features that make it uh, suitable as a first language and as a learning language. So as Python grew in popularity, a lot of people started using it for different professional applications, and it's actually found its way uh, into like data science and artificial intelligence and machine learning and even video game programming and all sorts of different uses. So there are loads and loads of different things that you can do with Python, and I learned something new about Python pretty much every single day. Um, and it is a really fun language to work with, not super difficult, and the basics are super, super easy to grasp. So what we're going to do, like I said, is start with some of the basics. We're going to go through some intermediate and eventually some advanced topics, and then we might get into some different other programming languages as well as some of the specialized functions in Python. But first, we are going to show you how to install Python. So if you have a Windows PC, you might already have uh, Python installed. And I'm going to show you how to check and see if you have Python installed real quick. And as I do this, uh, E is going to follow along because I am using a Python that already has, or I'm sorry, I'm using a computer that has Python installed. However, hers does not have Python installed. So um, the first thing you'll want to do is go to the bottom left of the screen uh, where it says type here to search. We're going to click that and type in CMD and we're going to open the command prompt. So with your command prompt, op prompt open, all you have to do is type in the word Python. So I'm going to do that. And on my computer, it tells me the Python version that I have installed, which is Python 3.9.5. And then it automatically launches me into the Python interactive shell, which we're going to be working with in a few minutes. Uh, so what did yours do? Oh, yours. mine did not like that. Okay. I think, did yours try to send you to the Windows store? Is that what it, okay, yeah. It might try to send you to the Windows Store to install that version of Python. Please do not do that. Um, it makes it really, really easy, but I'm gonna show you a way that's almost as easy. And if you install it from the Windows Store, it's gonna cause you a big headache later on down the road when we start doing certain things, they aren't going to work correctly. So I'm going to show you a better way to install Python. And we're show gonna install it be. manually. All right, so uh, we are already at the Python website, which is python.org. And we are going to go to the Downloads tab, and ours yeah. automatically says Download for Windows. And as of the recording of this video, the current, uh, the current version of Python is Python 3.9.5. So if you would, E, go ahead and click that to download Python. Boop. 
All right, and then just click that uh, down at the bottom left to go ahead and open it. That's going to open the installer. All right, so on this part, uh, what does that box down at the bottom say that you're about to check? Add Python 3.9 to path. Thank you. Be sure you check that box, because later we're going to add some add-ons for Python, and if you don't have this box checked, it is going to be a huge pain to get those installed correctly. So be sure you have add Python to path checked at the bottom. So go ahead and check that and continue with your installation. All right, and then once that installer has completed, just hit close or finish or whatever it says. I can't see that for. <laughs> says close. All right, good. Uh, now go ahead and bring up your command prompt again. CMD. That is correct. Or you can just click command prompt up there. Oh. Either way. <laughs> now type in Python. Wait. Let's be sure we spell that correctly. That's what I did the first time I spelled it wrong. There you go. Now it's got your version 3.9.5 and immediately sends you into the interactive shell. All right, so one really cool thing about Python is it, it, it includes something called IDLE, I-D-L-E, and that stands for Integrated Development and Learning Environment. So later on, when we get into some more complex coding tasks, we're going to use what's called an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment, which is just a special text editor that has functions that make writing program in programming languages a whole lot easier. And Python includes one that is uh, relatively bare bones, but it's really, really good for learning, um, and especially uh, learning in an interactive way. Uh, so whenever you type in Python in the command prompt, it automatically sends you into a version of the Python interactive shell, where, uh, which is one of the cool things about Python that not every language can do, is you can type in a bit of code and then immediately see what it does. In other program, uh, programming languages, you've got to compile your code then run it and then like run your debugger and kind of see what works and what doesn't. But in Python, you can see pretty much everything uh, uh, instantly as soon as you type it in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to open idle, which if you go back down to the uh, type here to search and just type in IDLE, we should see idle Python 3.964 bit. Just click on that and that will open it up for us. There we go, and that is our Python interactive shell. So later I'm going to walk you through downloading a different IDE that's a little bit more full featured. However, this will get us by for at least the first few uh, Python tutorials that we're going to do. But we're going to go ahead and stop this video here. And next time we're going to get into doing some math and declaring variables and start writing our first few lines of code in the interactive shell. So if you haven't yet, and if you got something out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of our new videos. We're going to have content like this coming out on a pretty regular basis and we've got lots of great stuff on the way. Uh, so with that, we will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.